All right, so uh, this is the English workout, a weekly English workout with uh, Jason R. Levine, the uh, review class, uh, which is uh, open to the public this time, is going to start in a couple of seconds. My name is Dr. Nelly Deutsch, and I am behind this way of teaching online. I've been teaching, or teaching in general, I've been teaching uh, for many, many years, over 30, and um, I've used different means to reach my uh, English language teachers, and this is it, folks. This is the best way to teach and learn. Teach because it's fun, learn because it's fun. So listen to Jason. Here Hello, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. Hello, Jason, everyone. Uh, this is Nelly Deutsch, and I'm just behind the scenes, so... Uh, Ignore me. I'm going to uh, pass on the mic to Jason and the webcam and let Jason do it. So hello, Jason. Um, we just uh, get my camera. How is everybody today? Hello, hello. Welcome to the English Workout with Fluent CMC. Thank you, Dr. Nelly Deutsch, our co-producer and head dancer. She's a solo dancer, but maybe in the future, Nelly, you can get a little, uh, a little team going back there. Uh, so good to be with everybody today. We have a special workout today that is open to the public. So thank you for joining us. Uh, one of the reasons for today's workout is to review from the last four workouts. So this is our fifth time here, and we have four uh, great programs that we've done together the last four weeks. And today we're going to look at some of that language that we practiced and uh, go back and talk about the pronunciation, talk about some things about the vocabulary. And if you're new to the English workout, you don't need to know anything. Just follow me and I think you'll enjoy it. The English workout, we do this every week. Get your skills in shape. That is not me. Um, boy, I wish I'd been that cute when I was a kid. Eight classes for $15. What we're trying to do with the weekly English workout is make it affordable for everybody. So to join, you don't have to wait till a start date. So I know some people are a little bit confused about that, but you can join anytime. And when you join, you get eight weeks for fifteen dollars this is our weekly english workout theme song i'm going to put on the music and if you're new here today weekly workout flu c me t do you see the red the red is where we stress we're going to talk about this after we do our song how the rhythm of english where we put the stress is so important to improve your listening skills, your pronunciation skills, and your ability to remember grammar and vocabulary more easily. So English is easier, more fun, and you can progress uh, faster, which I know is important to everybody. So give me a moment. I'm just going to get my music up here. Here we go, here we go. I hope everybody can hear that. This is the weekly workout with Fluent CMC. Yeah. Here we go, follow me. It's the weekly English workout with Fluent CMC. Stick with me, I guarantee to keep you worry free. Indeed, you'll see the key to speaking is to lower your stress. Having fun when you learn is when you learn the best. So stop studying grammar rules and cramming for tests. Give your brain a rest or you might get depressed. All of us are blessed, no matter what our age, to learn a second language when we feel engaged. Join the English workout. Follow the three R's. Relax, repeat. Remember, it'll take you far. That's right, everybody. Relax, repeat, remember. Relax, what does that mean? Fall asleep? No, it means enjoy and relax. Right, what happens when you relax? Oh, you remember more, right? 
You have fun and you remember vocabulary and grammar. And that's what we're trying to do here. If you just study English, you're not getting enough repetition. And you might be stressed or bored. So that's not relax. That's not repeat. And you probably know what happens, right? You don't remember. So when you're trying to use English in a conversation, in a classroom, it doesn't work. You're translating, you're hesitating. Those are the things we want to avoid. So what do we do here? It's like a gym class. We work out and we applaud and congratulate ourselves for our hard work. But it's fun hard work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Well, I want to begin just by talking a bit about the weekly English workout. You saw the picture of the little boy in the gym, and you're always seeing me doing this. This. Stretching. <laughs> Why? Because learning a language and using a language is so much like using our body for other things. Right? If we're not in shape, if we, we don't have a, you know, good health and, and, and good reflexes, it doesn't work. So that's what we're doing here. It's pronunciation, speaking muscles, but not just that, but up here, how we feel about using English. It gets easier and easier when we do it this way. We have different topics and functions each week. Today, as I mentioned, this is a review from our uh, last four weeks, and in a moment, I'll tell you what those topics were. Every Wednesday, English workout students receive worksheets. The worksheets help you get ready for the class, which is on Friday. The worksheets are a chance to look at the grammar and vocabulary for the week ahead of the class and to do some writing practice, which can be very useful to help you get ready for the class. And then Friday, our class, but, important but, watch it anytime. Why? Well, right now you can't talk to me, so it's not a traditional class, right? It's more like a TV program. The advantage is you can watch it later to repeat it, or if this time is bad for you, this time zone problem, it's not a problem. You watch when you want to watch. Friday, uh, sorry, Sunday. Sunday is when I put up MP3s in our courseware. Courseware is the section uh, when you're an English workout student, you can get access to, to get the worksheets and the MP3s that come on Sunday. The MP3s are both songs, chants we do, and other practice, usually conversation. So short conversations between people to practice the language, the target language for the topic or the function for that week. You can also do practice speaking exercises with these MP3s, and I give you suggestions for how to do that. You get the scripts, and you get some suggestions for using the MP3s every Sunday. We are developing accuracy and fluency. This is what language learning is. How accurate and how fluent you become is how you move up. Accuracy is your pronunciation grammar, use of vocabulary, how correct they are, right? how correct they are, which is important to be understood and to use the language in ways that help you advance. But fluency, fluency is how comfortable you are, how easy it is for you to communicate what you wish to say or write. That is as important as accuracy, I don't think we can say one is more important than the other. It's about achieving a balance, right? a balance between accuracy and fluency. And I believe very strongly that this type of practice we do in our workout helps you do that. Learning through rhythm and rhyme. That's the, the key to the approach that I use with you. Rhythm is right, the stress and the parts of the language that are reduced they shrink and link we're going to talk about this next rhyme rhyme is the sounds at the end of words middle and end that are the same 
It's very, very easy for our brains to learn through rhythm and rhyme. Rhyme, think about it. When you're a child and you're learning, you don't think you're learning, songs, poems, or watching commercials, and we, they use rhyme, we use rhyme as human beings as a way to quickly get things stuck in our heads. So using rhyme to learn a language, very, very useful. The three R's we've talked about already today, relax, repeat, remember. I've chosen three, uh, well, two topics and one function. Oh, let me change that. Two functions, one topic. Let me explain what topic and function mean, though it's not so important for you. But describing people how we do this, that's a function. Um, people's uh, physical characteristics, their personalities, describing ourself, other people, that's next week. Talking on the phone, right? This is also functional. How do we talk on the phone? What do we do uh, in those situations? What, what language do we need on the telephone? So those are functional. Job interview, we could call a topic maybe, although it's a little bit like a function too because there's specific uh, language we need in order to achieve our goal at a job interview. So these are all very functional. Uh, love and romance was a topic or restaurants. And in those topics, we have a uh, functional use of language. But topic function doesn't really matter. It's what we're doing each week. Those are the three uh, for the next three English workouts. And today review. Our first week, we did asking for help, then sharing your opinions, love and romance, and restaurants last week. So today, we're going to look at material from those four workouts. And if you were here for the workouts, it's good review. If you were not, you can learn some new uh, language for these different topics and functions. And please remember, it doesn't matter when you join the workout, so if you're thinking about being a new student with us, I hope you decide to join. It doesn't matter when you start, right? There's always a new topic or function coming and you can come in anytime and of course are so welcome to join us. Today, a little surprise. I wanna do Stick Stuck Stuck, this song and uh, video, uh, definitely my most popular. And I have uh, <clears throat> a slideshow to do with Stick Stuck Stuck to practice irregular verbs. So that's the plan today, to do some review and then to watch the video for Stick Stuck Stuck and practice together irregular verbs. One pronunciation tip today, which is the most important, I feel, uh, how the rhythm of English works, where we put stress and where we shrink, which means get smaller, and link, which means connect. So. In English, a sentence like students take tests, right? We don't say students take tests. Right? We have four syllables, yes, but we don't say students take tests where the stress is equal. We do not talk like this. Maybe when you started to learn English, you talk like this, but now you don't and you want to continue to improve and sound natural and you want to understand English easily. So looking at this rhythm and shrinking and linking is very, very important. We say students take tests. In the English workout, you see a lot of those red syllables where we stress and you see me snapping or clapping or tapping or something to help you and more importantly, help your well let me say this <laughs> help you but not so consciously right this kind of thing becomes subconscious back here so i don't want you to have to think or worry of where is the stress is it the first syllable is it the third syllable this isn't necessary moreover it actually could be a bad thing right you're thinking too much where is the stress you know how does the grammar work no, no, no. Let's make sure it's clear how this works so you feel okay. But then 
lots of practice. And the practice makes it happen automatically. Students take tests. We don't say students take. Students take. That's the linking, right? We don't say students. That's the shrinking. Students take tests. Everybody try that. Students take tests. Now you. Nice. Next. Look what happens when we add other grammar words to our sentence. So we saw before three beats. This is the rhythm of English. One, two, three. Tell her I'll call her tomorrow, right? What do you want for dinner, right? That's English rhythm. One, two, three. Why? It comes from this, subject, verb, object. Have you thought about this in English? Subject, verb, object, word order is so important. In other languages, not every language, but many languages, most languages, word order is much more free. You can move words more easily and still convey the same meaning. In English, it's very strict. And this, very interesting, right? This is why we have this rhythm. So notice, even when I speak slowly, I'm going to do this very slowly. It's the same rhythm. Students take tests. The students take the tests. The students are taking the tests. The students have been taking the tests. I didn't go quickly, but still, it might be hard to hear those sounds, right? So the speed is not the most important thing. The most important thing is the shrinking and linking. Fast, slow, same rhythm. Polite. Polite? Does the rhythm change when we speak formally or politely? Here is with my friend, not formal, not formal. The students have been taking the tests. Oh, my voice is, my intonation is very flat. Formal? The students have been taking the tests. Ah, my tone, intonation, my tone goes up. That's for another lesson. We talked about intonation. I want to do more with this uh, next week, probably. Back to talking about intonation. But the rhythm doesn't change. Talking to your friend on your, the phone, talking to your boss, we always need to follow this natural rhythm. One, two, three. So let's try that. Me first, then you. Students take tests. Now you. Now me. The students take the tests. The students are taking the tests. The students have been taking the tests. Last one's a little difficult, right? Don't worry about saying it exactly like a native speaker. Just notice where the stress is when we do our practice and we do our songs, and naturally you will improve this. How about the last one? We don't say, what are you going to do on Friday? Very slowly we say, what are you going to do on Friday? What are you going to do on Friday? This is why we say gonna. Let's try that. Me first. What are you going to do on Friday? Good. Let's practice. When you see the let's practice in green, that means it's time for me to put some music on. I'll put music on and please uh, follow with me and we'll do it a couple times. Uh, I might stop after the first time and look at that shrinking and linking with you and then we'll do it again. Here comes the music. Oh yeah. This is from Asking for Help, the first weekly workout that we did. Everybody check this out. Could you say that again? Could you explain where to go? Could you do me a favor? Could you tell me so I know? Or could you tell me what this means? Could you help me find my phone? Or 
Could you tell me when to be there? Or could you walk me home? Nice. All right, you want to try that again? Here we go, here we go. Could you say that again? Could you explain where to go? Or could you do me a favor? Or could you tell me so I know? Oh, oh, I'm going to stop because the music's about to run out. Since I stopped, we're going to play it again. Let's just look for a moment at that shrinking and linking. Could you, right? Could you, would you, did you, right? Could you say that again, right? Because of that stress, just like with gonna, we have more of a could you, okay? Nice. Let's try that again. It's the weekly English workout, Fluent CMC, co-produced by Dr. Nelly. Everybody follow me. Let's go. Could you say that again? Could you explain where to go? Or could you do me a favor? Or could you tell me so I know? Or could you tell me what this means? Or could you help me find my phone? Could you tell me when to be there? Or could you walk me home? All right. Yeah, we got a lot of songs today, so I'm going to stop there so we can move along. So that's good language for requests for help. Good. Next, we have another one from that week. This was our first English workout, asking for help. Sometimes when we ask for help, uh, or sorry, sometimes when people ask us for help, we say, yeah, sure, no, yeah, right, right away. And we did some practice with that. Or we need to say, not, it's not possible. So I have different ways here to practice. Very important uh, in English as your second language to be able to politely, kindly say no, right? I think that's a very common uh, situation. I know it is, right? Because I, my students ask me all the time, and I know in French, my second language, this is very difficult, right? How to communicate, I, would, I really want to, but I can't, and that's, that's so important. So uh, let's practice this one. Before we start the music, let's just do a little together. I'd like to, but I can't right now. Try that. Me. Of course, I understand. Sorry, I'm kind of busy now. Sure, maybe some other time. I'm sorry, I don't have time to help. That's totally okay. So in this one, the first sentence, I think it's pretty clear, is saying no in a polite way. The second, this is you, or maybe the other person, saying, oh, don't worry, I understand. Good, let's put the music on for this one. Yeah, oh, I like this one, yeah, yeah. I hope it's not too loud. I hope it's not too soft. <laughs> here we go, here we go. I'd like to, but I can't right now. Of course, I understand. Sorry, I'm kind of busy now. Sure, maybe some other time. I'm sorry, I don't have time to help. That's totally okay. All right, everybody, let's bring it back. I'd like to, but, oh, but I got to run the music back. DJ, DJ, where's my DJ? I'm my own DJ and an MC, fluent CMC in the place to be on the weekly workout. Check it out. Let's go. Huh, I'd like to, but I can't right now. Of course, I understand. Sorry, I'm kind of busy now. Sure, maybe some other time. I'm sorry, I don't have time to help. That's totally okay. All right. Good job, good job. I don't hear you, but I know you're doing a good job. Yeah, all right. And remember, you can watch the recording later. I know a bunch of people contacted me today. They can't be here right now. 
but they want to watch the recording later, either way is great. I will put uh, Dr. Nelly and I will give you a few minutes at the end if you have questions. So that is one good thing. If you're here live with us right now, we'll turn on the chat box. Now, what do you think this is? Which theme, topic, or function uh, is this? This is our second week of the weekly English workout. I think this is the best. Follow me, let's do it without the music, then we'll put on the music. I think this is the best. I believe that it's true. I feel that you can do it. I think you know what to do. I don't believe this is the answer. I don't feel that it's right. I don't believe you understand me. I don't think we should fight, okay? So, did you guess the function? Sharing opinions, right? And especially this one, agreeing and disagreeing, right? Well, actually, not exactly a dis agreeing, disagreeing. This is more introducing opinions, but you can already see the agree, disagree language coming in uh, here. All right, so more music because we got a lot of stuff to go through today. Oh, 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 what happened to my music? Here we go, sharing opinions. Yeah. Here we go, let's share opinions. Because then you know when you go, you'll flow and then everything will come. Oh, I think this is the best. I believe that it's true. I feel that you can do it. I think you know what to do. I don't believe this is the answer. I don't feel that it's right. I don't believe you understand me. I don't think we should fight. All right, that's the slow version, but you know what? This is a workout after all. Let's get things going. Let's move things a little quicker, right? Do it with me, we're gonna do it a little faster. If you think it's too fast for you, you can listen. If you wanna do it, you do it. We got people from all countries, all languages, all levels up in the house here. Let's put the music back on. Check this out, we're gonna do this a little faster. Follow me, to a CMC in the place to be as we go like this, yeah. I think this is the best. I believe that it's true. I feel that you can do it. I think you know what to do. I don't be believe this is the answer. I don't feel that it's right. Let's do that again a little faster. Ready? It's fast. I don't believe this is the answer. Woo, that's fast. Try that again with me. I don't believe this is the answer. Ah, nice. Here we go. I don't believe this is the answer. I don't feel that it's right. I don't believe you understand me. I don't think we should fight. Woo! That's a workout right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for the workouts, what I'm going to do from now on is do that, right? Towards the end, especially, when our speaking muscles are really stretched and ready to go, we'll do some faster practice. If you want to join, you join. If you want to listen, you listen. But we'll always have both slower and faster for everybody to practice. Here's another one from sharing opinions. Agreeing and disagreeing. What do you think here, agreeing or disagreeing? Right, agreeing. Some of these ways to agree are softer, not so strong. Some of them are stronger. So let's practice together this way before the song and let's look at which ways are ways to agree with someone totally strongly and ways that are not so strong. And maybe actually we don't agree so much, but we want to be polite or kind or just connect more with the person, keep the conversation going. So we don't want to disagree so directly. Let's do it together. I kind of agree with what you're saying. 
I agree with your point to an extent. So not so strong. I know you're absolutely right. Strong, right? I agree with you 100%. I generally agree with your idea. I hear what you're saying. I agree in some ways. I completely agree with what you're saying. I see what you mean. I feel the same way. Ready for some music? All right. That's some funky music. I can't see Dr. Nellie Deutsch, our co-producer, but you know, I know she's moving to this. I know she's moving. I'm gonna start moving too. I hope you're moving out there, moving your mouth, moving your active listening ears. That's our music. I'm talking so much, I'm gonna have to, to run that music back. <laughs> Watch me, I'm talking so much, that music's gonna end. So let's go again. We're gonna get right into it. Agreeing and disagreeing. Agreeing strongly, agreeing not so strongly. Here we go, here we go like this. I kind of agree with what you're saying. I agree with your point to an extent. right. I agree with you 100%. I generally agree with your idea. I hear what you're saying. I agree in some ways. I completely agree with what you're saying. I see what you mean. I feel the same way. Let's do it again. Oh man, I thought I had the music backed up there. That's in the chant, the MP3. If you were uh, in this workout, this was our agree, disagree workout. You have this song, but you get it one more time. Actually better for us to keep going, keep it moving today. We have so much to talk about. And next, and remember, especially if you just joined a few minutes ago or sometime before, uh, after, we began today. We're going to do Stick Stuck Stuck, the irregular verb song today. So let's keep moving so we have time for that. When we meet people, friends or romantic uh, relationships, we often talk about making plans. You can use this kind of vocabulary uh, with friends or with people that you are going out on a date with, or if someone's asking you, or you are asking someone that you are interested in more than friends. So all of this you see here in this chant, this could be with anybody. We talked about this in our workout about love and romance, and some other uh, language we looked at is only for romantic relationships, but this could be for both. Sure, I'd love to. That sounds great. I'm gonna keep things moving, put the music on and practice this one. What kind of music do we have here? Woo, yeah, this is nice and slow and funky. All right. Oh, I lost my light. There we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. Sure, I'd love to. That sounds great. Awesome, let's meet at a quarter to eight. That sounds wonderful. Perfect. That's great. I'll see you then. I won't be late. Again, sure. I'd love to. That sounds great. Awesome. Let's meet at a quarter to eight. That sounds wonderful. Perfect. That's great. I'll see you then. I won't be late. Yeah. I wanted to do that first verse a couple times. Let's do the music now. We'll get into the second verse of this song which is about making plans, saying yes or saying no, right? Where's my music? Thank you, DJ Jace. This is Jace, school of CNC and the place to be with Dr. Nelly. This is the weekly workout review. I'm glad you're here. We know what to do. Let's go, everybody. Sure, I'd love to. That sounds great. Awesome. Let's meet at a quarter to eight. That sounds wonderful. Perfect. That's great. I'll see you then. I won't be late. Thanks, but actually I'm kind of busy then. I already have plans for the weekend. Seeing a movie sometime might be a... Oh, 
you know what? I messed that one up and I knew I was going to mess it up. But I need more music for that one anyway. Let's do the second verse only. No mess ups, no mess ups. Come on, Jace. Come on, Jace. Get on point. All right, here we go. It's the weekly workout show. Ho! Thanks. But actually, I'm kind of busy then. I already have plans for the weekend. Seeing a movie sometime might be all right, but I'm already doing something on Saturday night. Again, thanks, but actually I'm kind of busy then. I already have plans for the weekend. Seeing a movie sometime might be all right, but I'm already doing something on Saturday night. Yeah. All right, I hope you like that one. I like that music. I hope you like it too. Speaking of music, if you have suggestions, music you'd like to hear on the workout, if you have instrumental music with no words and you want to send it to me, send me an MP3. I would love that. I'm very, very interested in this idea because it's not about my taste in music, what I want you to listen to. If it's something you like, you're going to listen more. And I think sharing music, especially if it's music from your culture, that might be really cool, right? For us to have that kind of cultural exchange. There's only one, well, two rules. I already said one. First rule, only music, no, nobody's singing in it because that won't work for us. And the second rule is make sure it has a good rhythm, right? It doesn't have to be hip hop or funk music, but we need that rhythm. No rhythm that's very pronounced. It won't work for what we're trying to do here. What's next? Ah, more from love and romance. Here we're talking about expressing our interest in someone, and this is more love and relationships, romance vocabulary. Not all of it, but some of it. It depends how you say it, but we talked about this when you and someone else are in a romantic relationship or on a date or something, and you're starting to uh, feel more comfortable expressing how you feel about that person. So, once again, music and practice. Yeah, this is really workout music, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody, let's go. I can see Dr. Nelly. There's the Dr. Nelly dance. I can't do it like her. She's one of a kind. Here we go. I really like the way you dress. I'm into your style. You got a great smile. I'm crazy about the way you look at me. I find you attractive. I love your personality. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, so glad to see everybody here. I'm looking at the attendees over here. I'm excited to see some people here. I see Jeanette D'Artour, Yukiko, Maria, and Vanessa. Let's go. You have an amazing sense of humor. You're fun to be with. You're warm and sincere. You're cute and smart. I think you're really interesting. You're funny and sweet. You're easy to talk to every time we meet. Yeah. That's expressing interest in someone from our workout two weeks ago. We did romance English and now restaurants. We're going to do Two chants for restaurants and do our stick stuck stuck song. So we're going to go real quickly through restaurants because I really want to do uh, that presentation of stick stuck stuck with you. We're at the restaurant, everybody. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? I can't hear you. Here we go. Are you ready to order? Can I get you something to drink? What will you be having? Do you need time to think? I think we're just about ready. We need a bit more time. I'm gonna start with a salad. I'll have a glass of wine. Could we take our order? Let's try that again. Here we go. Could you take our order? What do you suggest? Could you tell us about the special? Which one is best? Let's do that again. I don't know if sometimes you're making mistakes out there. I hope so, because I'm making mistakes out over here sometimes. I gotta be a good waiter, okay, here. A good waiter, and then 
a good uh, diner. Are you ready to order? Can I get you something to drink? What will you be having? Do you need time to think? I think we're just about ready. We need a bit more time. I'm gonna start with a salad. I'll have a glass of wine. Could you take our order? What do you suggest? Could you tell us about the specials? Which one is the best? All right. We got another restaurant chant actually four of them so if you're a weekly english workout student and if you're not i really hope you join us remember this is my little commercial break here remember it's only 15 dollars for eight weeks of materials so i hope you decide to join us if you do when you do you will get much more than you see here we're doing two songs but you we, i'm doing four or sometimes six songs every week uh on the mp3s to send you so let's do one more from restaurants this is two people talking uh about what they feel at the restaurant right communicating with the person you're with at the restaurant yeah this music is from a rap group called souls of mischief this is not my music so like i said if you have music that you want to contribute to the workouts please let me know go to courseware Start a chat, and then you can email me the MP3. Are you ready? Here we go. This place is amazing. It's supposed to be great. Our reservation is for six. Let's try not to be late. What are you gonna order? What are you gonna get? Are you gonna get dessert? I'm not sure yet. That salad looks good. Would you like a bite? It's really crowded here. Yeah, it's busy tonight. The service is top notch, but the meals are pricey. How's your soup? It's a little bit too spicy. How's your drink? It's good. Do you want a sip? How much do you think we should leave for a tip? Good. All right, let's cut the music off. Cut, 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 cut. Yeah, all right. So that is from our restaurant workout, and we are at the end of this part of the program today on the Weekly English Workout. And coming up next, uh, Dr. Nelly Deutsch, if you're in the house, I said we should watch the Stick Stuck Stuck video, but I'm looking at the time, and I'm thinking, let's not watch the video unless we have time after is that okay all right everybody let's learn some regular right verbs to the powerpoint right, everybody let's <laughs> you may have seen this video anyway i wouldn't I, I think it'd be fun to watch together but more importantly i want to do uh practice with stick stuck stuck in a way that you can't do with the video uh and this is with me and you with a presentation uh which Dr. Nelly Deutsch, I believe, is preparing for us. And when that is ready and we do it, uh, I think you'll see this is better than the video, and that's what the weekly workout should be, right? This is our class. The videos, of course, are free on YouTube. This is our class, and I want to do more things like this in the future. I think you'll like this. I put this together for us. This is... Stick Stuck Stuck, the Irregular Verb Song. This is how it begins. So you can see the first verb, take, and then the main verb, and then we have the, what I call, second and third form, because we use them in different ways in English, not just past simple or uh, the past participle. So it's, the ter we, I call them second and third form. So the second form took and the third form taken. Thinking about the grammar is not what we're doing. We are just getting that repetition, that exposure, so that like a native speaker, you can quickly know the different forms of the verb. Ask a native speaker, go up to them and say, okay, drink, mm -mm, and they will say, drink, drank, drunk. We did not learn these verbs this way, but 
We have them up here just that way. So that's the point of the song. So I'm going to put the music on. And I want to do this twice. First time, I'm going to do the song. You can do it with me or just listen and read. Second time, I'm going to say the first verb. And you are going to shout out the second. That's called the verb shout out version of Stick Stuck Stuck. Here we go. This is the Stick Stuck Stuck music. Let's turn that up, make sure everybody can hear that nice and clear. Are you ready? Here we go. Check this out. The microphone I take, took, take it. He shake, shook, shake it. Wake, woke, woke it to the style I created. Think, thought, thought. Seek, sought, sought. Listen to the lesson that I teach, taught, taught. Don't sleep, slept, slept. I creep, crept, crept. I sneak, snuck, snuck up. You leap, let, let. I keep, kept, kept. Having fun. I'm never beat, beat, beaten. I win, won, won. Do, did, done. Begin, begin, begun. Shoot, shot, shot. No, I don't own a gun. I leap, let, let so I can feed, fed, fed. The knowledge you need straight to your head. When I bring, brought, brought it. You catch, caught, caught it. Sit back, relax. Don't fight, fought, fought it. Please don't. Freeze, froze, frozen when I speak, spoke, spoken. It's real, you can feel. I don't steal, stole, stolen. I choose, chose, chosen the very best rhymes. And write, wrote, written them into my lines. And into your mind when we meet, met, met. I bet, bet, bet. I won't let you forget. Forgot, forgotten. I get, got, gotten. Every head naughty. Don't think about stopping. Just come, came, come. This is hip hop. I don't sing, sang, sung. I sting, stung, stung. I cling, clung, clung on each and every word. You hang, hung, hung. <laughs> it's not enough to dream, dreamt, dreamt. You gotta spend, spend, spend time on your goals. Please lend, lend, lend me your ear. Come near, and I'll lay, lay, lay. Down this new sound that I make, made, made. I hope you don't say that you think it's junk. I hope you don't think that I stink, stank, stop. If you're thirsty for English, come drink, drank, drunk. Cause I sink, sank, sunk. All the competition when they hear, heard, heard that I give, gave, given encouragement. When I spit, spat, spat. Never quit, quit, quit. Don't sit, sat, sat. Yeah, I like it like that. I'll even kneel, knelt, knelt. And beg it to express what you feel, felt, felt. I rise, roll, risen when I drive, drove, driven through the beat. Tap your feet as you ride, roll, ridden. Those that hide, hid, hidden. I find, found, found. If you flee, fled, fled, then I'll track you down. Commercial interruption here. <laughs> Are you ready for verse three? Here we go. Fluency and C. Now you see, saw, seen that I mean, meant, meant. Every word of the message that I sent, sent, sent. I show, showed, shown. I can fly, flew, flown. Now you know, knew, know. I shine, shown, shown. I throw, through, thrown. You the ball. It's your turn to grow, grew, grown with the verbs that you've learned. Grammar through lyrics, I draw, drew, drawn. Peace to ELLs, now I go, went, gone, ELLs. Do you know who you are? Yeah, that's the English language learners in the house. That's you. This is the weekly English workout with Blue and CMC and Dr. Nelly Deutsch. And that is stick, stuck, stuck. All right. We're going to go back now. We're going to do it again. Yeah, if I can get the uh, PowerPoint the way I want it to. There we go over to number one. All right. Good. That's stick stuck stuck. And I, I'm sorry if the uh, karaoke uh, technique didn't work so well because I'm doing the PowerPoint here, flipping it, which I want to do. I'm sure Dr. Nelly Deutsch, you could help me, but I'd like to do it myself. So I will do this with you one more time and then we'll open the chat box if you have any comments or questions. And I'll try to be a little bit better so it's easier to do. Uh, together. What I'd like to do with Stick, Stuck, Stuck, the Irregular Verb Song, I'm going to say the, the main verb that we are focusing on here. The microphone I take, and you're going to say, took, taken. This is still called the verb shout out. We'll put the same music on. We'll do the same thing, only this time. I will not say the second and third forms of the verbs. That would be your job. Here we go. 
I'm glad you're here at the weekly English workout. This is Sticks, Duck, Suck, your regular verb song. The microphone I take, you shake, wait to the style I'm creating. Think, seek, listen to the lesson that I teach. Don't sleep, I creep, I sleep, you leap, I keep having fun. I'm never beat. I win, do, begin, shoot. I don't own a gun. I leap so I can feed the knowledge you need straight to your head. When I bring, you catch, sit back, relax, don't fight. Nice. Relax, repeat, remember everybody, please don't freeze when I speak. It's real, you can feel, I don't steal. I choose the very best rhymes and write them into my lines and into your mind when we meet. I'll bet I won't let you forget. I get every head nodding. Don't think about stopping. Just come. This is hip hop. I don't sing. I sting. I cling on each and every bird. You hang. Yeah, I can hear you, everybody. I can hear you. It's not enough to dream. You got to spend time on your goals. Please lend me your ear. Come near and I'll lay down this new sound that I make. I hope you don't say that you think it's junk. I hope you don't think that I stink. If you're thirsty for English, come drink. Because I sing. All the competition when they hear that I give encouragement when I spit. Never quit. Don't sit. Yeah, I like it like that. I'll even kneel and beg you to express what you feel. I rise when I drive through the beat. Tap your feet as you ride. Those that hide, I find. If you flee, then I'll track you down. Yeah, please check out my website, columnwithspark.com. Some new surprises, some new things coming for that one. Ready, here we go, go. Now you see that I mean every word of the message that I sent. I show, I can fight. Now you know, I shine. I throw you the ball. It's your turn to grow with the verbs that you've learned. Grammar through lyrics, I draw. Peace to ELLs, now I go. Hooray, nice, nice, nice. Stick stuck, stuck, everybody. I hope you like that. Yes. And of course, teachers out there, if you want to share any of these materials with your students, I don't mind at all. That's part of what I'm trying to do here if you're a weekly English workout student. But just a little quick note to say, please don't share this with anyone who is not a weekly English workout student. Encourage them instead to join us. We've got a very affordable program for anyone to join. Great. I would love it if now we could open the chat, chat box. We have about 10 minutes, right? And if anyone has a question or a comment about something you saw today, heard today, said today, something uh, about the program, Weekly English Workout, that you don't understand, you have a question about that, a suggestion, anything, or you just want to say hello, don't be shy. Thank you, Yukiko. She said it was a great practice. I'm glad you think so. Yukiko and I go way back on Facebook, so I'm always happy to see her here. I see Erica's here. Helena is here. Dear Helena, Helena and I also go way back. Helena is a tireless supporter of, of what I do, what Dr. Nelly Deutsch does. Um, thank you, Helena. She's a big Wiz IQ person, a teacher on Wiz IQ. Ooh, I like Erica's idea, a song with examples with irregular verbs. So I actually have a lot of different material 
four regular verbs, not just this song. This is kind of the, the uh, grandfather song or grandmother song. Uh, so I, I have more stuff that I'm going to put out. Uh, oh, look what Vanessa's is saying. I love to create materials based on Jason's. Yeah, Vanessa has been doing some incredible stuff, everybody. She came out of nowhere on Facebook in Brazil to uh, start making worksheets for Colotunes, and it's really fantastic stuff. I've been posting it in H2E, How to Improve Your English. I'll continue to do that, but I'm also going to put her work along with uh, MAP from uh, Buenos Aires, Alas Maria Pinardi, and of course, the one and only Anissa Ba AB. They've all made a lot of different materials to put up. There'll be other materials that I want to put up uh, from, from uh, work that teachers are doing. Janetta, hello, hello. Janetta's my student in New York City. Janetta, good to see you here. Ha <laughs> ha, you can go using, you can't touch this. Doo, 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 doo. Ah, I, I bet it works perfectly. That that music gets in your head and is a, has great rhythm. Oh, look who is here. What a treat. It's MAP. That's Maria Pinardi from Argentina. I'm so happy to see you here. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Big hugs from all of us. It is really a, a treat to have Maria here. MAP in the place to be, chilling with Nelly and Fluency MC. Uh oh, here comes Dimitris. Dimitris out of Greece. Dimitris is well known for his dedication, his commitment, his compassion, his passion for teaching young learners, and he makes wonderful material through Club EFL. Club EFL, I gotta do a little plug for Club EFL here. If you don't know Club EFL, you need to check it out. Club EFL, I love your work too, Demetrius, and I love the work that Demetrius and I have done together. Our collaborations, Kalo aberrations, Kalo aberrations. Together, he's done uh, his talking dictionaries. Uh, Amazing stuff. If you don't know Talking Dictionaries, uh, you've got to check it out. He takes my songs, other people's songs, stories, poems, his own st material, and makes these wonderful interactive materials. Got to check it out. The weekly workout song as a final goodbye today, I think, is a great idea. Let's get that going, Nelly. Nelly and me, Fluent CMC, bringing the weekly workout. So everybody can see and have time through rhythm and rhyme to improve their English. So to the top, they'll climb. This is a quick freestyle. Because in the meanwhile, I get the music on and we have a blast. So come, not slowly, come fast and listen and have fun. Meet lots of people, teachers and students from all over the world. We're all equal. We celebrate culture. We celebrate English. So let's go because we're not quite finished. I'll put on the music. Where is it? I think I lost it. Wait a second. Oh, I did. Oh, my goodness. Let's get it back. Give me a moment. Demetrius starts to clap. The fluency spirit is what it's all about. Everybody come and speak, shout, and have a great time. It's rhythm and rhyme, the three R's. Like I said, you'll go far. <laughs> let's open up. Our music for our theme song, the weekly, weekly, the weekly English workout with Fluency MC. And we are just about ready. I'm my own DJ, so you have to give me a second. Thank you, Dr. Nelly Deutsch is doing all the technology stuff for us and is a huge inspiration for me. And I think for you too. It's, <clears throat> it's yeah. Do we want to get the lyrics up there? Where is that? In the first PowerPoint? Fluency. Do you want me to do that, Dr. Nelly? We want that first PowerPoint. It's okay, I can bring the music back. Take your time. Take your time and I'll freestyle. Because in the meanwhile, I've got so much to say. Because it's Friday. Time for W-E-W. -E -W. Yeah. The weekly English workout. I think the music, the lyrics are coming. Here we go. There's the slide. So let's run it back. Here we go. Go. What is it? It's fluency and accuracy. We're building both. I want to see the now. Oh, there's the Dr. Nelly dance. Yeah, that's it right there. 
Are you ready? Yo, it's the weekly English workout with fluency and C. Stick with me, I guarantee to keep you worry free. Indeed, you'll see the key to speaking is to lower your stress. Bring it down, having fun. When you learn, that's when you learn the best. So stop studying grammar rules. No, and cramming us. What? Give your brain a rest, or you might get depressed. You know all of us are blessed, no matter what our age, to learn a second language when we feel engaged. That's right, so join the English workout. Follow the three R's. Relax, repeat, remember, it'll take you far. That's right. Get your speaking skills in shape, everybody. This is 2013. It's time to get ready. Bring your English levels up so you can do what you want to do. Do you want to go to school? Do you want to get a job? Do you want to keep going in school? Do you want to get a better job, right? Do you want to communicate and make friends around the world in English? That's what it's all about in the end, right? Making friends in the end. That's what it's all about. Everybody say it, everybody shout. It's the Fluent CMC Weekly Workout in a place to be with Dr. Ned Lee. So glad you came today, everybody. Peace and much respect to all weekly English workout students who are here with us live and who are watching the recording. Yeah. You can go, you're right. A big hand for Dr. Nelly Deutsch and for you. For Jason, Jason R. Levine. Yay. <laughs> Peace. Thank you. This is Jay signing out. It's great to be here. I'll be waiting till next week. Everybody have a wonderful week. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you have fun. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. There's my new friend, Arthur, who's teaching kids in an orphanage. He's using the ABC songs that I make with young kids. Oh, it's so exciting. Please tell your friends. We're really excited to say we've got more than 40 people now in the weekly English workout. That is a really great accomplishment. We want to bring much, much more. We can make this thing grow, grow, grow. We need your help. Tell your friends. If you have any questions about how to register or whatever, it's easy. You got a problem? Just email me and let's talk about it. Peace and much respect, everybody. See you at the next workout. Bye, Jason. Bye, Dr. Nelly.